What was the question tag? I see. Aren't we? Aren't we? It is a, right? And is it in plural or singular? Yes. It is in plural. It is in plural. And when we come to our question tag, we also have the same same verb that has been repeated in the same same way, right? Yes. It has not changed the word or the auxiliary verb. It is still a, and that is why we are saying that if you have been given an auxiliary verb which is in plural, therefore the auxiliary verb in the question tag it must also be in plural. And one thing that you need also to understand, and that I think that is the third point which I gave out. And I need all of you to read it so that I explain. There is a negative note attached to the auxiliary verb. Every verb and shortened to empty. Either in the statement or in the question term. Very good. Now, you need to understand something here. That the word not it is introduced. The word not it is introduced. introduced. Whether in the statement or when it comes now to the question tag, we don't write the whole word not. We take the auxiliary verb and we shorten that not by writing an apostrophe and then t. Are we understanding? For instance, here it is our auxiliary verb are. Right? So for us to get now the question tag, we are going to pick that auxiliary verb R and then add an apostrophe not. That is the rule. Are we understanding? And the rule which I think I also talked about in the morning is if the question it is in positive form, then the auxiliary verb must be in negative form. Did we say it in the morning? Yes. And if the statement it is in negative form, then the auxiliary verb must be in positive form. Yes. And how do you know that a sentence it is in negative form? Yes, Ivan. When a sentence has a word like not. Yes. For instance, let's come to this sentence. We are on time for the lesson. Is that statement positive or negative? Is that statement yes, Vicky? It is a positive statement. So since that statement it is positive, therefore our question target is going to be ne negative. And that is why we are introducing the word not in our question target. Are we understanding up to that particular point? Yes. yes. But let's assume you could have a sentence like this that has a not in it. He isn't coming. He isn't coming. Positive or negative? Yes, Ryan? The statement, it is in a negative form. And we are saying that simply because it contains the word not in it. Right? Yes. So if the statement it is in a uh, negative, therefore the answer is going to begin. Yes, Angel? It is going to be in positive. So, what is going to be our answer? The answer is is. And at the end of it, you also put what? A question mark. Not forgetting, we agreed in the morning that a question tag that is a press that is placed at the end of every statement. Now, is this a, a, a press or a tag? It is. Yes. So, for that case, is that a sentence grammatically correct? Yes. yes, it is. Because it has followed all the rules of question tags. Are we understanding up to there? Yes. Okay. Now, let's go to something uh, else. We were still talking about those rules in the morning. So, allow me to write uh, some rules here before we uh, proceed. Proceed with those notes.
you are on the boat. And you are also going to tell me whether it is in negative or positive form. The, the answer must be in positive form. Are we understanding? And after every statement, you must make sure there is a comma there. There is a comma. Before introducing or before writing the question, and at the end of the question term, there must be a full, and there must be a question mark. Are we understanding up to that particular point? Yes. And that also applies to sentence number two. A positive statement will have a negative question term. So if you have been given a positive statement that doesn't have the word not in it, therefore, the question or the question term, it is going to be negative. Are we understanding up to that at that particular point? Yes. Very good. Now, there is one thing that you need to understand here. That when you look at now the question tag, the verb normally comes before the subject. The verb normally comes before the subject. Because the word is, it is now the auxiliary verb that we are getting it from the word is not. And the subject in this statement, it is he. Very good. Now, it was the other day we were looking at a subject verb argument, right? And I explained to you what subject is. What is a subject? What is a subject? A subject, it is the noun in? A sentence. That is what we agree. This sentence, he isn't. The word he. It is a pronoun here. And we agree in unison that pronoun these are words that are used in place of nouns. So when they are in a sentence, they are as well subjects. Are we looking at that? Yes. So the rule is number one. The question or in the question. The verb comes before the subject. I cannot say he is, but is he. That is according to the understanding. He is. The question part it will be in this case. Thank you for being part of our English lesson. Until we meet uh, next time.